Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal the YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where I'll be discussing where an indoor roller coaster could go to Alton Towers Resort. Now, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while now. And you sort of see how, um, you know, the likes of Van Helsing's Fat Trip, Movie Park Germany, and the, and again at Movie Park Germany, the Movie Park Studios attraction re more recently. You see these indoor roller coasters, the Bolton's indoor section as well. I think it's a very interesting discussion period to see, you know, would an indoor roller coaster work at Alton Towers, and if so, where? So I thought I'd use this opportunity today to sort of discuss a couple of locations where I think an indoor roller coaster could go. Now, before we get started with all of that, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. I will be recording some of them. Don't you worry. As soon as I get some time off work, I will record some of them. And for now, guys, let's talk about where an indoor roller coaster could go at the Alton Tower Resort. So the first location then is the Alton Towers Dungeon. The building next to it, not including the Burger Kitchen, and of course this nice stretch of land where the old Coaster Corner used to be, right behind where the Royal Carousel is now, what used to be the Twirling Toadstool. Now obviously this is, in my opinion, the most likely site for an indoor roller coaster, especially a family themed one. Um, and I think that, imagine having a Wilder David Williams themed um, sort of indoor roller coaster, like an, a nice family coaster with some great theming, um, some fantastic um, scenery items, and some interesting elements as well to make the coaster fun for all ages. Now, obviously, I think in terms of who would manufacture this, I think you're looking at people like uh, Intamin, uh, I think Ziera could have a shot. Now, the reason why I say Ziera is, um, they were the manufacturers of the, Vol the Bolton, which is traditionally a family thrill coaster. And, um, you know, yes, the Bolton has quite a dark theme at times with the, the whole Black Forest storyline and the whole German theme going on. I think that Ziera would be a great manufacturer because they could do like a really light World of David Williams IP theme and also provide some of the elements that Verbolton has. Like, I mean, 13 already has the track drop elements, so you can't really take that. But you can have like a forward section, you can have a backward section, you could even have um, like a, a transferable track section or a turntable section. You can have different ways the coaster moves. So I think that Ziera could do a really good job as well. I think Matt Rides would be an interesting one to go for. I think if Spinball Wizard ever gets removed, then I think that Intamin or Matt could go with a dark spinning coaster. Um, I think an Intamin spinning coaster, something like um, the the project, the Mission Kepler project, which is um, at Futuroscope, the Objective Mars. I think that that could be a, a very interesting one to go for. I think that um, kind of that sort of spinning coaster with different elements, indoor and outdoor, could be a great attraction to go for. So I think there's real potential there with that site, especially with the size of the building if you combine the two sites together. So I think that overall that could be a really nice idea and have the queue line and sort of entrance in one end and have the exit in the other and have the coaster in between. So I think that again, it could be a really nice uh, thing to do. You could have the exit for where the current Trick or Treat Town Scarefest attraction is at the moment uh, that could be like the whole entrance uh, egg, sorry the exit pathway and the exit line and the exit out into the park again and at the entrance for where you enter um, at the other side what sort of near the Royal Carousel and that sort of expanded bit where the old coaster corner used to be you could enter through there and then have the coaster in between the big buildings so I think again there's real potential with that one but uh, speaking of Spoonball Wizard let's go to site number two so site number two is Spinball Wizard, and this is the removal of Spinball Wizard for an indoor coaster theme to see BBs. Again, another IP. Now, obviously, like I said again, this could be a, a real opportunity here to uh, utilize the entire site and utilize the family aspect of the experience. Again, you could get many different manufacturers in on this. You could get 
um, ART Engineering, you know, they've done some great family and kids coasters, you could get, uh, you could get Intamin on this, you could get, um, again, Ziera could be involved in this, you could, you could get many different people to work on this, and again, that CBB's IP, again, could be used into great effect, you can have a nice interact, it's a bit of interactivity involved in it as well, maybe there's some targets to go for and you have like guns attached, like sort of like the, the guns attached to the to the cars and it's sort of like a game as well as a coaster in, in, indoors, so uh, again the CBB's IP could be played really smartly here and uh, once again, I mean, I mean to be fair you could do something like Wonder Mountain's Guardian maybe like a sort of dark ride coaster kind of thing so I think again real potential with this and let's be perfectly honest here it's only going to be a matter of time before Spinball Wizard bites the dust or goes somewhere else um, we see BB's line creeping closer every single year into that site so I think again there's a real potential here to use that um, sort of area for good use uh, but now let's go to site number three and you might be surprised as to where I've put this now the final site is the Galactica car park, well behind Galactica, and uh, it was a debate really between this and Nemesis of Terror, but when I looked at Nemesis of Terror's site and the kind of expansion room it's got, it isn't very long, so I think that that's the most least likely, uh, but the Galactica car park, I would still say that's the least likely for an indoor roller coaster because that site's probably best for like an outdoor attraction or outdoor attractions and low level buildings like restaurants etc. And um, I think that's the least likely site but there is still a possibility to do that and especially with it being behind Galactica you could do some really nice space theming and you could still put some attractions next to it, some um, some really nice attractions next to it, like a couple of flat rides, if they want to re reinvest in flat rides again with, you know, with Chessington doing crop drop and things like that, there's no reason why Alton Towers can't invest in more flat rides again, and I think that though, those two, a uh, couple of flat rides sort of um, come with the indoor coaster as part of a package, part of a space package really, to sort of turn Galactica and the three attractions in its own area, into its own area, and the roller coaster restaurant as well. I think there's real opportunity there to uh, to utilise once again the space theming. I've mentioned this with the other two, Intamin, Sierra, maybe ART Engineering if you want a proper family coaster for that area. Again, could be a nice surprise. And I think that, again, this could be a real opportunity to, uh, to make the most of it, but that's talking about the three sites. Now let's talk about the possibility of an indoor roller coaster at Alton Towers and when I think it could open and could it be Secret Weapon 9? There we are ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages, that is speaking about the three potential sites for an indoor roller coaster at the Alton Tower Resort. Now the most likely will not be the Galactica Car Park, that's more of an outdoor attraction thing. I think we're probably looking here then at the Spinball Wizard site for a CBB's Land indoor coaster and the um, Alton Towers dungeon building combined with just behind the Royal Carousel in the World Dave Williams and that whole area there. So I think that overall, I reckon there's real potential to do that. I think there's real potential for both sites to be uh, a cumulative of an indoor roller coaster. In terms of do I think it's possible, I think it's very 50-50 at this point. I think a lot of people would like to see an indoor coaster as the secret weapon project next, uh, especially with it being a secret weapon 9. Would it, do I think it'll be secret weapon 9? I think it definitely could be. It might not be. Who knows? I think it's very 50-50 whether it's possible to add one at all, and I think it's very 50-50 to add a secret weapon 9 project that's an indoor coaster. So um, I think that there's some real potential there for it. It's just a case of will Alton Towers go for it? And, you know, it's 2021. It's coming up towards the end of 2021. So... If Secret Weapon 9, for example, is 2024 or 2025, then next year we'll maybe hear the first whispers about Secret Weapon 9 or some kind of first information about what could be going on. So, I think that Secret Weapon 9 isn't too far away now from Alton Towers Resort. In realistic terms, it is not too far away at all. And I think that... Um, it's going to be interesting to see what it will be, where it will be, and what will replace it, if it, if anything will replace it. But I'm struggling to sort of see, you know, what the overall outcome could be in terms of will an indoor coaster come to the park. 
I'd like to see it. I think it could be something unique, something different, something very um, challenging for the park to come up with, but I think the park could come up with some excellent ideas. Um, like I said there, something themed to the world David Williams, something themed to CBBs, maybe a space theme if it goes behind Galactica. I think that there's real potential there. There's other sites that I've talked about as well. The Subterra, if the, if the building was, if the expansion uh, for that sort of site was big enough. Um, I think, again, there's real potential. They could use the Jewel building for it. I think Jewel could be an interesting building to use for it and combine that whole area behind it. Um, I think, it, again, it's, it's an interesting debate. I mean, comment down below what your thoughts are on it, but um, I thought it was an interesting debate today. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Keely on the Coast Life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers-tastic day. Thank <laughs> you.